Hi everyone, this is Demetrius Acropolis from OB Pixel. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to pick something a little different, a bit more creative. Have you ever wanted to know how to make custom icons that you can use in your Apple system or your Apple Mac or your Mac Air or your Mac Mini? In general, just anything on the Apple environment. Those custom icons that sort of stand out on your folders and your applications. Well, let's see what we can do today. Let's begin. Right, let's have a little bit of fun. We're going to go into the browser. You can pick Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo, it doesn't really matter whatever search engine you use. And let's search for the application Image2 Icon, IMG2, icnsapp.com. It's a great app. It's free on the Mac App Store. I love using this application. It's got great ratings, uh, wonderful preview features. And please understand, I have no affiliation with this company. I do not get any kickbacks. I just love using the program, really. So once you download it and install it, mine's already installed, you can open up the application and it will look like the following icon or the following screen. Now, once you want to work with this, let's go into the desktop and make a new folder. And let's call this folder Fun Stuff. Right. Now we'll right click on that folder and get some information, which will be all the metadata for this particular folder, including the file permissions, sizes of the folder and so on. And what we're interested in doing is, apart from all this information, we want to replace that blue folder in the top left. You'll see, once you click it, it highlights in red, which means you can actually replace it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and open up a browser once again, and let's go and search with Google, or in this case DuckDuckGo, for some folder icons. And make sure that when you do search for this, just pick on images. Let's see if we can find a PNG file that we can use because it's got nice transparency. Now, bear in mind, you should really use your own images for these icons. Try not plagiarize other companies. But I, for the sake of this demo, just want to use something really cool and simple. So let's pick this little fun <laughs> duck face yellow folder that we can use for fun stuff. We'll drag it and drop it onto that desktop. And let's close the browser down. And what we can do is we can take that PNG file and drop it into image to icon and process the image. Right, now it's processed the image and it's telling us, yep, we're ready to go. You can choose a bunch of formats you want to use to export to. It's got a lot of features. You can export straight away. You can go back and change things or you can go straight to the settings and play around with the dimensions a little bit. You can manipulate the horizontal offset. You can play around with a vertical offset you can experiment with zooming and you can also rotate to have a little bit of fun with the actual icon now i'll just leave it as default because we don't need to do anything more fun with this and once we're happy we will go down to the bottom of the screen of the app and we will click export you'll notice that when you do this you'll have a whole lot of options available to you for different formats okay we're interested in the ICNS file type. So when we click that, let's rename this file as funstuff.icns and save it onto the desktop. All right, we close the application down. And please rate these guys. They're a great application, nice developers. By all means, you know, we need to support good programmers, developers, and good ideas. Thank you. And let's try and see what we can do with this icon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this particular icon over there. We'll delete the old PNG, we don't need that anymore. Let's put that into the bin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that blue folder inside the Get Info screen and replace it with the ICNS file we've just created. And voila, you now have a custom icon on your folders, really easy. Now you can delete the original ICNS file, the one you created, and you're now up and running and ready. So that's how easy it is, and you can make custom icons for almost every single application or folder in exactly the same way. Just go through the process, use the application, create the ICNS file, open up a file or a folder, and then right click, go to the Get Info screen, replace the little folder that you see on the top left with the new ICNS file, and you're up and running. It's as easy as that. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next one. Cheerio.